Good morning to you all. Even though I'm probably not going to get this video uploaded by morning, I'm going to say it anyway. Because I'm just that friendly guy. So, we've had a couple requests here at Blatant Gaming to do some Minecraft stuff. And I figured, since I am completely not humble at all, that I would start the Minecraft videos by showing off some. Because that's who I am. So yeah, this is one of the first things that I built when I first started playing on creative mode. When I first experienced that joy, the unlimited power of creative mode. That gave birth to this ginormous, ridiculous castle made entirely out of obsidian, which I have so dramatically backlit for you with that lightning. Of course I did it on purpose. What are you talking about? So we come in the front door here and we have my throne room. You can see I went for kind of a dark look. I've got the skulls and the lava and all the black and red. All the lighting that I did in here actually, except for those few torches and the torches upstairs because the light didn't reach, is done by these little lava vents that I made because I thought they looked nicer and more sinister than just plain old torches. I built a table right there with lava in it because I can. Uh, uh, bedroom over here. Not very big. I like how the bed looks, but the rest of the room isn't that exciting. Up here, though, climbing up into the towers. This long climb up into the towers. Wait, I'm on some creative. There we go. We have the top of the tower where you can see my Iron Golem guard so precariously perched up there. Going back down. Too lazy to wait. Now, coming out of the staff room, we're going to cross over into my favorite part, the library slash sitting room that I made. Uh, I'm really happy with how this bookshelf turned out. I didn't know how it would look when I started, but I'm pleased with it. Don't those couches look comfortable? And the reason I like this library so much is because of this that my friend and I wired this beautiful secret passage into my dungeon. Yes, I have a dungeon inside my bookcase. Can you say that? No. I don't think so. For those of you who have played Oblivion, you can probably see what I've based that off of. Going on up, I'll show you guys the top of the other tower. Uh, I'll fly into the lava instead. Here we go, top of the tower. Other iron golem. iron golem, I can't speak. With the arrows in it. Arrows in the chest, not in the golem. You guys know what I meant. I can't open the dungeons. You can probably tell by the sticky pistons. I wired the way in to that secret passage, but the thing I had trouble with was wiring the way back out again. That's what a friend helped me with. And if you flick that lever, that's for the gate. This lever over here retracts the bridge so that no one can get in. Put that back on. Going back in here, I'll show you guys the upstairs really quickly. There's nothing really up here. Except for the way up to the roof. Going up, 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 going up, 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 going up, up, up to the Iron Golem! Isn't that beautiful? And since I was in kind of a dystopian mood when I built this castle, I built a depressing little village, which is where we started off. Shops there, streets over here. Villagers are still inside because it's not completely daytime yet. Mm -hmm. That's this. I'm working over there where the shops are. I'm working on a little secret entrance into that 
into those so the villagers can have meetings where they're plotting their rebellion against the castle. Because, you know, I think, I think these things out so much. Right in here. Where the book things are. And so, yeah. That is house number one. Moving right along, we come to the second house that I wanted to show you guys. My Chinese kind of palace looking thing. This one, as you can see, I actually did build on survival mode, not on creative. Um, it took forever to get all that clay and to dye it all, but I liked how it looked, and so I think it was worth it. I got really lucky with this map and spawned right in this village over there on the hills, right near the jungle, which had the river, which was full of clay. So I had plenty of clay and plenty of resources right off the bat to start off with. I did make the front entrance out of quartz. There's not much on the inside, but I'll go in anyway and show you guys. The inside's unfinished at the moment. I'm eventually going to add in some more stuff there thinking about building a kind of a zen garden kind of thing here since I was going with that kind of with that area of the world I guess that'd be Tibet wouldn't it not China anyway up here I might put a couple rooms but I'm not sure how they'll look with the balcony going back down the only furniture I have in the place right now except for my bed and there's not much down here but I'll show you anyway it's an unfinished storage room. Eventually it's going to look a lot nicer, but right now it's a work in progress. Filled with all this randomness. And then and the portal where I've been getting all my quartz. So yeah, that is house number two. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, to house number three. It's not technically a house. It's more of a gigantic thing. Like I said, I figured that since I was playing Mass Effect, since I love Mass Effect so much, I couldn't resist not having this texture pack. This is the official Xbox Mass Effect texture pack for Minecraft, and in my not so humble opinion, it's pretty awesome. There's not much down here. Built a little bedroom because, you know, Commander Shepard has to have a place to, uh, get it on with whatever squad mate he happens to be. He or she, not going to be sexist here, happens to be getting on with at the moment. So yeah, this is the apartment level, the upper wards. You can hear the thousands of cats that my sister put into her apartment. Yep, she built a hot tub, and yes, the cats. Going down... We kind of just had fun with this. We kind of just went a little all out with the uh, creative mode pack here. Do, 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 do. Don't think there's anything else to show you up on this level. Is there? Yeah, we're going down. I did originally have minecart elevators in this, but I just really don't like them. I don't like how they look, and they're impossible to get in and out of. So I scrapped it and just went with water instead. This is the entrance to the docking bay, over here. My favorite part of the texture pack, I think, are these iron bars. I love the way they look. Just so cool. It's got sci-fi Mass Effect written all over it. And yes, that door did say Serenity. I'll show you in a second. And if you notice my ship, if you played Oblivion, or not Oblivion, Skyrim. Uh, named after Isolde from Whiterun, because you know, that's a great name for a ship. My ship? I figure if Commander Shepard can have an aquarium, I can have one in my ship too. Back here we have the engine room. I will eventually cover up that minecart, but I wanted to have some moving parts in here, so it sounded like something was actually happening. So. So this is a thing. We're funding this. Oh, that was lag. We have outside 
That skipped a lot, I'm sorry about that. The guns do fire, because originally this was going to be a map to play war on. But, uh... You can see there's a space station there where my sister's ship used to be. This is the ship I built. I kind of like it. It's not great, but it's something. And that, my brother tried to build Serenity. Or something very much like Serenity. It doesn't look too bad in my opinion. The engine's too big, but... I don't know. Let's go check out the inside. Ah, oh, that's not the right block. Um, I don't know what he used. I'll worry about it later. Going down. He made his ship into kind of a freighter type of deal. And we cross back over into the space station proper. Going all the way down here, there's no ships docked here yet. Going over here though, we have a random little ship that I built just for mostly aesthetic purposes. There's not much on the inside. There's just some lights and stuff. Go. And now we'll go and check my two favorite parts of the place out. I love that they put the music from Mass Effect 3 in this as well. This makes the entire thing so much more epic. So yeah, this is, as you can see, based off of the Presidium from Mass Effect 1. It's a little smaller than the real thing, obviously. Shops, I guess, look a little bit more like 2 and 3, but, oh well. I like how they look. Down, we'll go check out the Citadel Tower, Presidium Tower, and I can't get in this way. In here, there's an elevator that's about as long as the, oh, as the actual elevators in Mass Effect. Except I don't have witty banter from my squad mates to keep me company in here. We have Citadel Council doing pretty much what they always do in Mass Effect. Nothing. This is very exciting music to go down an elevator to, isn't it? Shut up, cat. one little once one little one more view of the place I can't speak it's too early for speech and by too early I mean it's noon and this dramatic music is fitting I think for what is probably my favorite part of the whole thing that we've built the lower wards as you can see you've got some kiosks set up over there you've got my brother's apartment which he hasn't done very much with yet but we'll go look anyway. Yep. Moving right along. Got a guy walking on the fountain over there, but oh well. And this, the nightclub. The Fuse nightclub. Damn it. There we go. I'm rather a fan of how this turned out. I like the walls. Even though the villagers aren't really dancing, I'm going to dance to finish off this video. Oh, what is this skin that they've given me? I gotta fix that. Get the duh. Part of the texture bag also has all the characters in it. So obviously, I'm going to be Morden. Obvious choice is obvious there. I hope you guys enjoyed this little look at Minecraft. We're going to be doing some more stuff, probably some skyblock and such. So stick around for that. And... Have a great day.